Hey everyone, Shannon here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export an After Effects motion graphic or animated logo without the background, so that your background is transparent and you could put it on other videos, you can overlay it, uh, you could do really cool things with it. So I'll show you how to take out the actual background. Uh, so to show you, I made a really quick logo. We got a cute little penguin here uh, for my brand called Cool Logo and I just created some nice transitions with it. So we have a stroke, we have some radial wipe in there. It's really, really simple just to show you this effect. Um, it looks really nice on a white background or maybe even a gray background, but I don't want the background for this. So in Premiere, I have some, some footage, this is Premiere, of some ice and glaciers, uh, and I really want this logo to go over it uh, to kind of, you know, show off my brand. By default, After Effects renders out the background color you have set. The first step is to shut off the background. And how you do that is this little button right down here. It's the transparency grid toggle switch. If I click that, I get the nice transparent grid. You could turn this on and off as you see. I'm just simply clicking. If I want to go export this right now, it won't work unless we change the uh, the render settings. So I'll show you how to do that, which is the next step. So we're going to add our composition to the render queue. So we're going to go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. What you do need to change is the output module settings from lossless. So we're going to click this link, which opens a uh, our module settings and this section video output is where the magic happens uh, you see this where it says channels it says RGB that's rendering everything what we can do to render um, a transparent background is we click down and we see RGB plus alpha so it creates an alpha channel uh, so because we have our transparency grid on it's now going to render just the logo without any background. So we just click OK. And make sure you set your output to where you want your file to save. Uh, I already have mine set. And once you are all set, you know where your file is going to end up. You don't want to lose that and try to find it on your, on your PC or your Mac later. We hit Render. And this is a five second long composition. It doesn't take long at all. All right, so now that my composition has completely rendered, it's ready. I'm just going to bring over uh, Premiere for you guys right here so you could see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the composition that I just exported. So again, we're just dragging and dropping. The way to know if it worked is just simply drag and drop over your, your other video source and boom, it's totally transparent. Um, so it's really nice. Maybe I want to move this over a little bit and we'll play that out. Cool. All right. Cool logo. All right, guys. So that is how you render out a motion graphic or an animated logo in After Effects. And you could bring it right into Premiere and overlay it on top of any other video source that you have. So if you like this tutorial, be sure to like or to comment below. Um, and if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Thanks for watching.